BPE stands for Boosted Innovation, Optimized Product Value and Efficient Engineering. Listen to Roland Burger partner Max Blanchet talk about reducing product complexity. Mr. Blanchet, what is the diversity complexity dilemma? The complexity diversity dilemma is an issue often faced by many companies which aims at maximizing the diversity for the customer while minimizing the complexity to develop the product and sell the products. Diversity is driven by uh, the set of variants uh, the company needs to serve different markets, especially by when globalizing to serve emerging countries and to match the customer needs. And this generates a high diversity. Diversity also comes to differentiate the offer and also diversity is used to position the product uh, as an entry level, as a volume level or as a premium level. Whereas complexity, complexity is all the technical complexity, the manufacturing, production, supply chain, complexity associated to the manufacturing, the delivering of the goods. And very often uh, there is a huge uh, overcost associated to this complexity. Therefore, mastering complexity is very important in order to masterize, to, to have the most diverse uh, uh, product offer. Why is mastering complexity so difficult? Mastering complexity within companies is very difficult because it is linked to how the products are developed. Very often, uh, companies are taking an existing product, they are copying this product and try to adapt it to a new market, and therefore they are generating new variants, and generally, maybe this product doesn't fit for the first time, they have to redo it, and then consequently they are generating variants and variants and generating this complexity, because the whole need has not been anticipated early enough. And uh, moreover, there is still generally a lot of uh, lack of transversal ways of working, which prevent to uh, properly uh, define how to minimize this complexity. And how can companies overcome this challenge? In order to manage complexity, there is a rigorous step-by-step uh, -step approach which needs to be uh, applied. First, we need to identify clearly what is the set of specifications of client needs uh, we would like to address with a given offer. And this requires to determine the envelope of the needs which have to be fulfilled by the product offer. And when this envelope is clearly known, and I can understand it may not be so easy to anticipate the customer needs across different regions, across different customer segments, but once this work has been properly done, then we have to define what type of uh, most simple offer uh, who, which minimize the complexity uh, which can address at least 80% of this uh, product uh, customer needs. And uh, therefore, a third step, we need to identify all potential levers uh, to reduce this complexity. Reducing the complexity can be done through uh, modularization of product, uh, making some commonalities, uh, standardization, uh, making some uh, scalable offers uh, in order to reduce the engineering cost, uh, developing a cell. There are a lot of solutions and levers uh, which help to simplify the way to manufacture, to develop and to supply the products. And uh, last but not least, uh, the approach requires to work transversally with a multifunctional team combining both marketing expertise, product expertise, engineering and R&D expertise, but also manufacturing and supply chain expertise. Why is mastering complexity so crucial? Mastering complexity is becoming crucial if the company wants to grow to uh, attack some new markets and new emerging markets. It is very often seen situation where traditional companies who are operating, for example, in, uh, in France or in Europe, uh, they don't need to masterize a lot of complexity because they have only one market to serve. But as soon as companies are getting more and more globalized, therefore they need to address much more uh, different type of customers, much more, much more type of markets, and therefore mastering complexity become a crucial key success factor in order to make the product competitive and to achieve profitability in order to fuel the growth.